Fast frame speeds and a large buffer capacity can be crucial to getting the shot, especially for sports and action photographers. This camera records up to 7 frames per second and a burst of 100 images, but you have to have the right settings. If you shoot 14-bit raw images using the entire 24 megapixel sensor, the camera can only record up to 5 frames per second. The buffer will fill up quickly. You can increase the frame speed by changing the camera's image area setting. Open image area from the shooting menu, or press the I button and use the multi-selector arrow keys to toggle to the image area icon. Press OK. The default setting is DX. The entire sensor is used by the camera when recording images. Select option 2 instead. Now only a portion of the image sensor is used. The camera crops the image area by a factor of 1.3. An outline will appear in the viewfinder showing the cropped image area. This icon denotes that the image area has been taken off its default. Images taken with this setting are about 15 megapixels instead of 24. This simple change increases the advance rate to 6 frames per second when the camera is set to record 14-bit RAW files. The cropped image area setting has another advantage. Since the recording area is smaller, the active focusing field covers a larger percentage of the frame. You'll be able to select an AF point from virtually anywhere within the cropped frame. This can be critical when photographing sports or other fast-moving action. If the AF area mode is set to 3D tracking or one of the dynamic area AF options, the camera will be able to maintain focus throughout the frame. Next, consider your image quality setting. Switching from RAW to JPEG quality increases the advance rate to 7 frames per second. It also eliminates any buffering delay and increases the camera's burst capacity. Compare the buffer capacity for the DX and the 1.3 image area settings. When shooting in JPEG, the camera can record up to 33 DX images in one burst. For a 1.3 crop, the burst capacity increases to 100. Raw images have a much lower buffer capacity. For example, the camera can only record 6 images in one burst when shooting 14-bit RAW photos in DX format. The maximum frame speed is 5. If frame speed is critical, but you want the camera to sacrifice the least amount of image data, change the compression and bit depth settings for raw recording. This will increase the buffer capacity from 6 to 14. Go to the shooting menu and choose NEF raw recording. Type determines the amount of compression the camera applies to your raw files. There are two options, lossless compressed and compressed. Lossless Compressed compresses files without any effect on image quality. Select Compressed. The amount of data recorded for each image is slightly less compared to the other type setting. This allows for a higher burst capacity. The effect on image quality is minimal. Increase buffer capacity further by changing the bit depth setting. Bit depth refers to the range of colors represented in the resulting image. It also determines how accurately each color is reproduced. Choose 12-bit RAW recording if your goal is to maximize frame speed. The color data recorded by a 12-bit RAW file can stand up to most editing needs. Changing these two settings and selecting the 1.3 cropped image area increases the camera's advance rate to a maximum of 7 frames per second. This improves your chances of recording an extraordinary image over a series of shots.